Hi, I'm Ken Bouvier. I'm a drone flight instructor in Utah with UAV Coach. Welcome to our first video in the Can I Fly My Drone series. We're going to cover many topics starting with these five words, Can I Fly My Drone? As a training organization at UAV Coach, we get questions from our students constantly with these words. So we've decided to create a series where we'll answer questions like, can I fly my drone without a license? Or can I fly my drone from my boat? We'll even answer questions like, can I fly my drone in Las Vegas? But in this video, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone over a stadium? We're planning to post a video each week where we'll answer one of the topics that we see or we hear often. But what we'd like to do is get comments from you about what questions you have around, can I fly my drone? We'll try to answer as many of these questions as we can in future videos, but we won't just answer the question, we'll give you the information that goes behind the answer. So let's jump in. Can I fly my drone over a stadium? Before you do, there's three things that you need to consider. First is, what is the purpose of your flight? Are you planning to fly over a stadium just for fun, or are you planning to capture photos or video to post on YouTube so that you'll get more subscribers? If you're planning to fly just for fun, then your flight qualifies as a recreational flight under the exception for limited recreational flights of unmanned aircraft, which is United States Code 44809. This law states that you need to take the free trust test and UAV coach is an authorized administrator of that test. So we'll have a link down below. And you have to have proof of completion with you during your flight. You need to follow the safety guidelines of a community-based organization like the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And you have to limit your flight to no more than 400 feet above ground level. But only if the stadium is in uncontrolled or class G airspace. And there are other requirements that you need to meet as part of USC 44809. Now, if you're planning to capture your photos and video for advancing your YouTube subscribers, then you do have to have a remote pilot certificate under part 107.12 of the federal regulations. Part 107 is the rule that governs all unmanned aircraft in the United States unless you qualify under USC 44809. You can be fined up to $32,666 by the FAA for violating the regulations. Next, will there be people in the stadium when you fly over it? FAR Part 107.39 states that no person may operate an unmanned aircraft over a human being unless they are part of the operation or they're under a covered structure or the operation meets the requirements of one of the categories in subpart D. Meeting these requirements while flying over a stadium, if there are people in it, is going to be very difficult, if not impossible. If nobody is in the stadium, or if you're flying around the stadium and no one is around, and the stadium is in uncontrolled or Class G airspace, then you're probably okay to fly over the stadium as long as you meet the requirements of Part 107 and the other things we talked about. You should check local rules and regulations as well to see if there are any ordinances or laws that prohibit you from taking off and landing on the ground around the stadium. Do a search for drone or aircraft on the official .gov website for the city. Last and definitely not least is to know if there's an event planned at the stadium and what time it's scheduled for. The FAA issues what are called Notices to Air Missions, or NOTAMs, for special situations that are planned that can affect flight operations. These NOTAMs are generally temporary in nature and they're for a specific location. However, there are some longer term and more general NOTAMs that you need to be aware of. 
Notum FDC 0 slash 0367 is a long-term notum that applies to any stadium in the United States that has a seating capacity of 30,000 people or more when a major sporting event or other big event is taking place. These are events like an NFL football game or a Major League Baseball game or even an NCAA Division I football game. The NOTAM states that aircraft operations, including drones, are prohibited within a three nautical mile radius and up to and including 3,000 feet above the ground level. And it's in place one hour before the event starts until one hour after the event ends. Even if you could meet the requirements of not flying over people in the stadium. If there's a major event going on, you can't fly your drone within three miles of it. Again, you could be fined severely if you're caught breaking this rule. So can you fly your drone over a stadium? Yes, you can. As long as you're flying in compliance with FAR part 107 or the exception for limited recreational operations and you're not flying over anybody in the stadium. But if there is a major sporting event, you're not allowed to get within three miles of the stadium. And make sure you understand any local uh, ordinances or laws about takeoff and landing near the stadium as well. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of what's involved in flying over a stadium and gives you things to think about before you decide whether you should. And a quick pro tip, do not fly your drone within three miles of the Super Bowl. Let us know in the comments if you like this format and don't forget to ask your can I fly my drone question in the comments section as well so we can address those in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel. It's a free subscription. And this way, you'll be notified when we produce another one of these in a week. Thanks for watching. And from all of us here at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. Bye for now.